On July 28, 1969, one of the best fighters Mike Bernardo nicknamed Beru Chan was born, who became famous among fans of martial arts in fights according to the rules of K-1. Having won victories over such legends as Peter Ertz, Andy Hoke, Branko Sikatic, Francisco Filio and many other famous fighters, Mike became an unconditional legend of kickboxing, whose fights will be reviewed for many years. During his entire career in kickboxing lasting 10 years, Mike Bernardo was never able to become a K-1 Grand Prix champion, taking only second place at the K-1 Grand Prix Tournament 1996. Nevertheless, the absence of a champion belt did not prevent Mike from further knocking out most of his rivals, who felt the full power of Mike's killer hooks on their heads. Today we will remember how Mike stopped all his rivals in the first round at the K-1 World Grand Prix 2000 qualifying tournament in Fukuoka. Make yourself a cup of tea, sit back and get ready to watch this a short video. The first fight. Mike Bernardo vs. Jurgen Kruf. The quarterfinals of the tournament. In the first quarterfinal match, Mike met a fighter from Sweden Jurgen Kruth, who is known for victories over Stefan Liko, Vitalia Kremenko, Freddy Cameo, and Bob Sapp. In the early 2000s, Jurgen did not have much experience fighting with such strong opponents as Mike. Jurgen could not keep the pressure from Mike Bernardo, losing by knockout in the first round. In the second fight Mike Bernardo met with the same high opponent as himself. We are talking about a fighter from South Africa, Andrew Thompson, who also took part in this tournament, losing in the quarterfinal fight to Stefan Liko by knockout in the second round. Stefan, who injured his right leg, could not reach the semi-finals of the tournament against Mike Bernardo. After that, he was replaced by Andrew Thompson, who unfortunately for his fans, could not take advantage of a second chance. This was the semi-final fight of Mike Bernardo, who dealt with his second opponent in just 34 seconds. Ahead of Mike was a fight against the world-famous fighter Mirko Krokop, to whom Mike had lost a year earlier by technical knockout in the first round. Mirko, who had two tough fights against Glauba Fatosa and Hiromi Amata, also entered the fight against Mike Bernardo in far from the best shape. So Mike Bernardo became the champion of the qualifying K-1 World Grand Prix 2000 in Fukuoka, winning the biggest title in his life. Yes, you can argue that Mike got light and injured opponents, but Mike also get injured before the fight with Andy Hoke in the 1996 K-1 Grand Prix final. Which does not diminish the merits of Andy Hoke himself. Someone is lucky to get to the finals of the tournament without injury, and someone is not. Mike, who has been unlucky in the World Grand Prix for almost his entire career, was lucky at the K-1 Grand Prix in Fukuoka qualifying tournament. It was his finest hour, in which he confirmed his role as one of the most dangerous kickboxers on the planet, and earned some money for a living. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our Pro Fight channel. Good luck!